BBC Coventry and Warwickshire. It is just after a quarter past three. Uh, now, um, chance for you to uh, to enjoy putting your photographic talents in a spotlight now. Uh, if you're a budding photographer, how do you fancy helping cover a big charity event in Coventry next month? Dolly Mix Media, uh, a company based uh, in the Midlands, is searching for keen shutter books. I don't know what one of those is. To take photos at the UK Corporate Games, taking place between the 5th and the 7th of July. It's aiming to raise money for Macmillan Cancer to uh, support. Tell us a bit more about it. Is Nikki Cooper from Dolly Mix. Now, we've spoken to you before. Yeah, you have. Yeah. Because you took a picture of the girl dressed as a spooky red Indian in the memorial park. Yeah, that's right. Um, some passers-by saw me taking photographs of somebody dressed up as a Native American and I got a phone call and I came on air to tell you all about it. Mm. It, it was still... I'm, I I struggled, really, to get my head around the whole notion <laughs> of it, but I really rather enjoyed it and I felt so sorry for the girl dressed up because it was a really cold day, wasn't it? She was it? a bit chilly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> she was playing a ghostly Native American. Perhaps the the chill helped her channel <laughs> the undead. What's a shutterbug? Shutterbug. Mm. I guess that's um, a photographer that's really passionate about mm. taking pictures. That's quite a nice phrase, yeah. isn't it? I'll, I'll bear that one in mind and take it to the bank. So, listen, what is it you want people to do? Well, basically, we're looking for photographers of all abilities to volunteer to take part and capture the games. And um, we're offering the photographers the opportunity to take part in a sports photography workshop. And some of their photographs will be sold with the money going to Macmillan and the photographer. OK, so th- it's a kind of like a profit split. Yeah, Oh, that's a great idea. So, so what are the games? What are you taking pictures of? We'll be taking pictures of all 22 sports that are taking place. So there's dragon boat racing, badminton, basketball, you name it, it's probably going on there. Um, I'd never come across these games before. Yeah, well, they move around the country. It's the world corporate games mm. happen all over the world. And then in the UK, they move from city to city. So this year they're in Coventry, next year in Liverpool... Um, they're mainly being held on Warwick University campus. Um, the dragon boat racing is happening down at Warwick Castle, so it's going to be a beautiful setting for photographers to get some really great shots. And now, how good do you need to be? Because I'm honestly, <laughs> I am hopeless with a camera. The only person in the world that's more hopeless than me is producer Simon. Between the, <laughs> between the pair of us, it's a, it's an extraordinary gift. Presumably, you need to have some sort of semblance of ability. Yeah, you need you need to know the basics. You need to know how to expose properly, how to work your digital SLR camera. So we're not looking for people with just a compact or a snappy cam. We're looking for people who are really trying to make it as a professional, looking to build their portfolio. So perhaps students who've come to the end of their studies at the moment looking for something to do over the summer and keen amateurs there's lots of photography groups around Coventry uh, who do uh, lots of work we've done exhibitions here with the Ensford Grange group and a really talented bunch there so there are lots of people I'm sure around and about we've got one I think potential volunteer on the line now his name is Josh Josh King who's a photographer from Leamington. Now, we spoke to Josh. Um, when did we speak to you, Josh? It was a little while ago, wasn't it, about an exhibition that you had going on? Yeah, it was, it was back in February now, um, when I was holding an exhibition about raising money for uh, the homeless in Leamington. That's right, with an exhibition of homeless people. I thought it was longer ago than uh, than February. I thought it was like last no, year. Through oh. the cold chill that we had. Oh, I know, Josh. It's been a long year, hasn't it, love? It really has. It's dragged on. Um, anyway, so you're um, you're quite keen to help out with this. Yeah, it sounds like well, it sounds like it could be a good experience for anyone of uh, any sort of level of uh, experience, really. Um, but I've done a little bit of corporate sort of photography in the past, so more than keen to have it. Uh, and happy to help out, really. Brilliant. Well, it's a chance for you, because I know you're, you're not... You you work for a... Um, is it a, a camera company? Yes, yeah, in, in the retail sector. So. Yeah, in the retail sector, but you're you're trying to break into the sort of professional world. Yeah, very much so. I can't believe how much I remember about you, Josh. It's extraordinary. You must have struck a chord with me. There so you go. Oh, you see, there's something about you that tickled my biscuit, I think, Josh. <laughs> and that's kind of nice, isn't it, Nikki, that you've already got one volunteer thanks to us. That is fantastic. Yeah, Josh sounds like exactly the type of photographer we're looking for for this. And um, people can get in touch with us via our website to register. Um, and then we'll be sending out all the details to get people signed up properly, get contracts signed, all that.
brilliant. So it's all done and above board. Mm. Just quickly, Josh, um, how did your exhibition go down? Because I know there was an awful lot of interest in it, wasn't it? After you were on um, our show, you were on the telly and stuff as well. Yeah, it went very, really, really well. Um, I think in the end we raised just over two thousand two hundred pounds oh, uh, nice through d- donations and sales of prints. So that all went to the Warehead Project to uh, who helped the homeless in Leamington. So it was all very good, and you know, I'd like to thank everyone for the support and time I spent helping out as well. Oh, brilliant! Well, I look forward to seeing your photos of the corporate games. They should be cracking. Thank you ever such a lot, uh, Josh King from Leamington. So if people would like to register, then you need to have a, a kind of a grasp of how an SLR camera works. Need to know your way around it a little bit. And you're offering a workshop, aren't you, to people? Yeah. So sports photography is quite a different beast, I suppose, with yeah. things moving. Yeah. So we'll, we'll have a workshop to get the basics set down before the games take place, and then they'll. Have have a whole weekend to practice taking the photographs great stuff listen thank you where can you go to get more information nikki you can go to dollymix-media.co.uk brilliant dollymix-media.co.uk and we'll make sure the address is on our facebook page facebook.com slash vic afternoon is the place to go for all your resources thank you ever such a lot for popping in to see us today nikki cooper taking us towards the travel is the mamas and the poppers